Philly Chris coming at you here from the Carco in North Philly with Andre Boyer. How you doing, my friend? How you doing, sir? Good, good. How are things going on here tonight? Everything is quiet and mm -hmm. it's peaceful and people are happy at the pump. That's a good sign to see, a good sight to see when people are happy at the pumps. Absolutely. And what happened, what transpired for you to have to be here tonight to keep people safe in, in Philadelphia? What initially took place? Well, sir, numerous things mm -hmm. happened to get it to this point. Yeah. Okay. Safe. And uh, what's the reaction been uh, from the customers here at the gas station? What are you hearing? People were just coming in here, you know, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. Um, I, I, even people were trying to donate money to me. I said, no, 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 you don't have to. I'm doing this for the public and you should thank the owner in there because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. I don't come cheap. He said, yo, I wanna do this for the customers after he read that 62%, just in Philadelphia, the statistics say 62% of all carjackings happen, happen at the pump. Mm. And that was enough for him to say, yo, I need I need my customers to be safe because without my customers, I don't have a business. Absolutely. What do you what do you think of the state of affairs in Philly? Everything that's been going on, the increase in crime and gun violence and things well, of that nature. What are your thoughts on that? I have to blame our leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, eight years ago, uh, Mayor Kenny, Commissioner Outlaw, DA Krasner, and city councilmen, people, they promised the city that they would do something. Right. What have you done for boots on the ground to really address the issues about the real gun violence? What you need is you need more private patrol in the street of city of Philadelphia. Why don't you give that money to an agency like mine that could patrol a neighborhood that's riddled with chaos, mm -hmm. that the police can't always be there. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we are in a state of affairs in the United States, not just Philadelphia, but in the whole United States. This is what it's come to, folks. Right. Citizens have to know that they have the Second Amendment to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. Citizens have to know that they don't have to be a victim. Why should you have to be a victim? Right. You shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Criminals, it, this is what I say to the politicians who are up there writing all the laws. Right now, they want to say, oh, well, we want to write this gun law, we want to write this gun law, and we want to write that gun law, restriction, restriction. Does the criminal care? That's what I want to ask you. Does the criminal really care about what you write on a piece of paper? No, he's sitting home laughing at you writing all these different laws. You know who you hurt with these laws? You hurt the law abiding Second Amendment people. The laws that you write saying you can't have this, you can't have it, it's only the law abiding people that follow it. The, the bad guy doesn't care. The criminal's going to carry his gun, his three guns, his two guns. He's going to carry whatever. And he doesn't care or hoot nanny about what law you write. When a lawmaker's going to get that in their head? Texas got it right. Mm -hmm. Everybody can carry a gun. Texas got it right. If it's not out of control in Texas, then it should be everywhere in the United States of America. Every legal citizen that can carry should be allowed to carry. You're an elected official. Stand up for the people. You were elected by the people for the people. I say this to the election officials, do what's right for the people. Mm -hmm. Protect the United States of America. Make this country great again, protect it. Right. That's the way I feel. That's fantastic. Philly Chris coming at you live here with Andre at the Carco. He'll be on the show live tomorrow night. Tune in, be able to live stream and chat with him. Out here doing good things in the public for the people. Thank you for what you're doing, brother. We Thank you, sir, it. for having me. Yeah.
Philly Chris here at the Carco in North Philly with uh, Clifford Hill, correct? Yes. How you doing, Clifford? Hi, how are you? Good, nice to meet you. So what brings you out tonight? Well, uh, I'm the founder of Wide Expectations 501. Mm -hmm. um, we're working with you developing entrepreneurship. Uh, we just don't concentrate on the youth. We concentrate on the youth to deal with the whole family and the whole community. Um, we have our second annual Christmas toy gift and food giveaway. Okay. Last year we were able to impact a thousand lives, uh -huh. giving away turkeys, uh, feeding the homeless on Kingsington and Allegheny. Uh, we had an Easter pageant for the kids, giving away scholarships, toys and gifts. Um, and now we're looking to reach 10,000 people this year. Oh wow, that's amazing. Um, so you're trying to get back to the community. Yes, we're going into the hospitals. We have a, a partnership with the local church where we're giving toys to kids whose fathers are away in, or mothers are away in prison. Oh wow, okay. We're also working with uh, services for children, youth who have no place to go. They may be in a shelter. We're working with the Salvation Army, delivering toys to the Salvation Army. That's amazing. The Ronald McDonald House. That's wonderful. Community organizations and religious organizations. What we need now is we need some support financially, uh, any resources. We need volunteers. We have 10,000 gifts to wrap. We have 5,000 people to feed. How could people get in touch with you if they well, wanted to Well, they can help. reach us at 267-900. 7712. Okay. Our email address is wideexpectations501 gmail.com. Okay. All lowercase letters. Uh, they can like us on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, and then just call us to volunteer time. That's amazing. Services. We need everything. That's wonderful. Are you um, from this area? Are you from Philly originally? I was born, originally born and raised in Philadelphia. Okay. Yes. What I do you think about what's going on right now in Philly? Well, I've come from a, 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 I come from a Paris family. Um, so I've seen a lot of violence. I've seen a lot of death mm. at a young age. I'm 50 now. Um, right. It has gotten worse since then. Mm -hmm. um, I come from a background where I grew up with no running water, wow. no electricity. Wow. We used to have to literally take feces out of the toilet and put it in trash bags. Really? Because we had no running water. Wow, that's pretty wild. So Christmas and Thanksgiving was always a sad time for me because we didn't always have turkeys. Sure. We didn't always have toys. And there's other families like that. And a lot of the, the, the violence that's going on is because some of these young people don't see an alternative right. to their lifestyle. So we want to show them that we coming together can make a difference if we come together. That's amazing, yeah. Our, our, our theme is, I got five on it. Okay. I got five on it. Five to impact 50,000. If you have five dollars, Okay. If you have five minutes. Right. If you have five gifts. That's, that's, if you have five pieces, five rolls of tape, mm -hmm. five ma magic markers, five plates, five cups, five bags, anything and everything, there's someone that needs it. That's amazing. That's a great way to do that. Just and a little so bit helps. Everybody if you got five in, yeah. on it, right. we can touch 50,000 people. That's awesome. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll... Uh, change some info and we'll uh, no problem and, and, yeah, and, yeah. and we're partnering yeah. with a company yeah. uh called hilltop home improvement okay we also provide services for low-income families okay that cannot afford to get repairs done to their house we delivered a turkey for thanksgiving to a woman who needed a turkey but she said i, I can't take the turkey because I, I can't cook it on my stove we're in the process of getting her stove wow so that's the type of, of things we're doing we partner with a church called Christian Compassion Baptist Church, mm -hmm. who actually helped me a lot when I was living in those situations. Right. And they're in, a, they're in a process of going through a transition where we need to rebuild that church. Okay. So we need volunteers. We do this all year round. It's awesome. Any way we can help, give us a call and we will be more than glad to try to help. Yeah, we'll definitely get the word out for you. Thanks for taking okay. the time to talk to us today.